In this series of videos, we're going to take an existing Android project written in the Java programming language, and we're going to see what it would be like to write that in the Kotlin programming language. The first thing we need is a Kotlin project, so I'm going to go to Android Studio, choose New, New Project, and we will call this one Plant Places Kotlin, just like so. Make sure that the package name is what we want. Now, this screen is a little bit tricky. If you're on a monitor like mine, you might not see what's hidden down below here, which is this checkbox for include Kotlin support. So let's go ahead and make sure that's checked, and then we're going to choose next. For our versions, uh, we could go with Android 21 or Android 23 or whatever's appropriate. Uh, I will go ahead and say Android 23 for this instance. Uh, basic activity is fine. We'll choose next. And just like our Java-based program, we're going to call this one GPS a plant, like so. Uh, note the capitalization and the layout name, activity, GPS a plant. So many things that are similar. And now I'm going to choose finish. I'm going to let this run for just a moment. It's now creating the project for us. And if I take a look under the Java folder, we'll see the activity that it's created. And sure enough, here is GPS a plant. You'll notice a little different syntax than what you might be used to if you're a Java programmer. So notice that it, we have a method that's called a function here. Uh, you might notice that the way we say GPS a plane extends app compat activity is a little different. Notice there's a colon instead of the word extends. Uh, you can see the onCreate method that we're used to. Uh, the, the parameter variable is a little bit different than what we're used to in Java. You have the variable name, a colon, and then a variable type. The question marks indicates that this can contain a nullable value. And then we see a little lambda expression and, and so on and so forth. But nonetheless, we do at this point have a program that is written in Kotlin. The only class we have so far is this GPS a plant class. And indeed, this is a Kotlin based class. Now, one thing that's a particular annoyance in this version of, uh, I guess, Android Studio or the Android SDK is this issue that comes up when we target for version 26 or version 27, it has some dependencies that are a little funny to work out. So uh, this is a manual step only required for this specific version. I'm going to double shift and I'm going to say build and we're going to take a look at apps build.gradle and I'm simply going to bump the preferred version of the compile SDK and the target SDK to 26 from 27. That means I also need to change a couple libraries here. Uh, app compat we're going to change to 27.1.1 and support design again we're going to change to 27.1.1. Hit save, do a gradle sync and if all works well this little warning will go away. Now after refreshing we see build successful. I can go ahead and show this in an emulator to just make sure everything's working as expected. I just hit the uh, the little play button up above, the uh, kind of the play with the gear on it to debug. It gives me the prompt to select an emulator. And right now it's going to launch into this emulator that I had up just a bit earlier. This will take just a few moments, so I'll pause the video. And while it's not really a, an appealing user interface, it did not take long to load. We see Plant P Places Kotlin here which should match our content GPS of plant when we go into design view should look roughly the same. So our project is now compiling and it's using Kotlin. One more thing I would like to do is I would like to push this to a version control so that we can so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to say uh, import into version control and we'll say share project on GitHub. Give us just a moment. New repository name, Plant Places Kotlin, and remote name origin. I'll choose share, and we'll give this just a moment. Okay, uh, what all do I want to check in? All of this stuff is good. We'll go ahead and say initial commit, and we'll choose OK. Add to get, that's fine. Uh, successfully shared project, Plant Places Kotlin. Now, this is based on some GitHub settings that I've added in earlier. Uh, so, I had previously configured github.com slash disco spiff with my credentials so it knows what my public facing github is. But nonetheless, if you go out to this public facing github, you can now see this initial commit uh, committed just 33 seconds ago exactly. And this is where I'll be pushing commits after every couple of videos that I record. So this is a look at uh, how to start a project in Kotlin. In the next series of videos, we're going to add a layout, and then we're going to use some Kotlin Android extensions to access the widgets from that layout. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.